Hi, I am Ravina, a team member of SuperSync Technologies Private Limited. Today I am here to demonstrate the working of model FP201. It is a two-way public address system with callback and talkback facility. The system facilitates user to conduct an effective two-way communication between two points in half-duplex mode within a building. I will explain this with an example of a hospital. There is a basic need in a hospital to have a two-way communication between patient's room and nursing desk. So we keep this master control on nursing station, and this speaker FP201 in all patient rooms. All these speakers are addressable, so if nurse wants to communicate anything in a room, he or she can dial that room number to get connected with the patient. Similarly if patient has any query, patient can press the screen button on the speaker to get assistance. Similarly the system can also be used in multi-story buildings or group housing projects for communication between security room and lift lobby of each floor. Apart from this, system can also be used in hotels, restaurants, warehouses, factories, malls, showrooms, multiplexes etc. In short the system is best suited for all those places where two-way communication with call back and emergency alarm is required. There are multiple features available in this system. First is, user can conduct one-to-one -one two way communication, where any speaker number can be selected from master control to have conversation in half duplex mode. Second is, like above feature even speaker can also initiate a call to master control by pressing green button on right hand side of speaker and have conversation. That's the reason, we call it as, two-way communication system with callback and talkback facility. Third is, all call or general call which can be initiated from master control. Fourth is, group call which can be initiated from master control. User can make five groups of ten addresses each on master control. Fifth is, call to more than one randomly selected speaker from master control. Sixth is, playing music through external devices like computer, laptop, mobile etc. Seventh is, generating panic alarm from each speaker. This is an optional feature. And eighth is, automatic bell and messaging system to play per recorded music or messages on user programmable time schedules. Total 50 schedules can be programmed to play in 24 hours. This is also an optional feature. Moving ahead, this system has one more USP. The whole system is connected in daisy chain pattern, that is, speakers are connected in, loop form. Two cables, are laid to connect master control with first speaker, then output of first speaker is connected to, input of second speaker. Similarly, second to third, then third to fourth and likewise. This in turn makes significant savings in cabling and labor cost of project. And later, also saves maintenance cost. Now let me show you working of this product. Here, I have connected master control, with one speaker FP201. You can imagine that, this speaker is placed in patient's room, and master control on nursing desk. Address of this speaker is, 1. Currently, green LED is on, which indicates that, speaker is ready to call, or to be called. Here I am dialing, 01 on master control to get connected with patient's speaker. On pressing enter button, I'll start getting sound from patient's room on my master control. To speak from master control, I will use talk button. It's a push to talk button so, one has to keep it pressed while speaking from master control, and can release, to listen the patient's response. If there is some long message to be relayed, nurse can use, zero key. Voice from nursing station will be relayed continuously to patient's speaker. To listen the patient's response, press escape key. Hi, I am your nurse, Aditi. Congratulations. As per doctor's instruction, you are now healthy to go home. Your attendant is requested to visit billing and discharge counter on ground floor to complete the discharge formalities. Thank you. This is how, nurse can announce in any particular speaker. Now, suppose the patient's attendant, has some query to ask the nursing station regarding discharge formalities. So, instead of going to nursing desk physically, 
they can simply press the screen button on speaker unit. A telephonic ring will be sent to master control. Speaker address will be displayed on master control to identify the room number from where this call is initiated. Nurse can attend this call by pressing enter button. Hi, Aditi this side. How can I help you? Aditi, all this treatment and hospitalization is covered under medical insurance, so do I need to carry doctor's file and insurance certificate to billing desk? Sir, you can carry insurance certificate along with you. Rest all documents we have submitted from our side. This is how one can communicate two-way between master control and speaker. Next feature we have is, all call. Suppose system is installed in a building of 15 floors, and control room wants to make some announcement regarding building maintenance, which should reach to each floor. So the person at control room can press, all button, then talk, or zero button and make required announcement. This way voice will be audible in all speakers simultaneously. Attention everyone, I am speaking from control room, this announcement is from secretary, of our resident welfare society. Last date to pay maintenance fee for third quarter is 30th of this month. Request everyone to kindly deposit the same before due date to avoid penalty. Thank you, and have a great day. This is how one can communicate messages to all speakers. Moving ahead, next feature is, group call. In group call, user can make, 5 groups of, 10 speaker addresses each. To explain this let's take an example of hotel. There are various department in hotels, so we will divide all speakers of these departments in 5 groups. Group 1, for kitchen. Group 2, for laundry. Group 3, for housekeeping. Group 4, for back office. And Group 5, for front office. Groups can be programmed with speaker addresses from programming menu. Suppose, the facility manager has to make some announcement to housekeeping department. So, he can select G3 and make his announcement. This announcement is for all housekeeping staff. From tomorrow onward, for next three days, 25% of housekeeping staff will work for pest control of complete premises. Housekeeping manager is requested to get pest control kits from store and detail staff accordingly. Please make a note, due to this change, the regular housekeeping activities should not get affected. This is how one can make a group call. Next is, calling to randomly selected speakers. Getting back to hospital, suppose the system is installed for communication between quarantine room patient and nursing desk. Nurse has to make an announcement to three quarantine patient rooms, to instruct them to wear face masks. Room numbers are 1, 4 and 10. So nurse can directly dial these numbers on master control and press talk button to announce. Hello sir, I am your nurse, Aditi. I request you to wear your face mask. Wearing face mask is compulsory. Please abide by the hospital rules. Thank you. This is how one can make announcement in randomly selected speakers. Maximum 10 speaker addresses can be selected at a time. Moving ahead, next is playing music through external devices like mobile, computer, laptop etc. Suppose, one wishes to play a safety message in hospital regarding COVID-19 from his mobile. So he can connect his mobile through 3.5 mm auxiliary cable to master control and press audio out button to relay message in all speakers simultaneously. Novel coronavirus spread can be stopped. Cover your mouth properly while coughing and sneezing. Wash hands with soap frequently. Avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth. Avoid close contact with anyone with cough, fever, or difficulty in breathing. Please cooperate with doctors and healthcare staff. Be rest assured, you will be fine and healthy very soon. This is how one can play music through external device. Moving ahead, next is an optional yet very useful feature. It's generating panic alarm from various locations in a building. In traditional system of generating panic alarm from various locations, one has to lay separate cable from each switch till control unit. So it makes a jungle of cables in building. But in this model FP201, 
panic switch is connected on each speaker, and like stated previously, each speaker is connected in daisy chain pattern to master control. So this saves lot of cabling cost and works efficiently. Here I've connected one panic switch on this speaker which has part ID 1. So if I press this switch, a siren sound will start in all speakers along with the master control. Master control will also show the part ID of speaker from where this panic alarm is initiated. Use escape key to stop this alarm. This is how one can generate panic alarm from various location in a building. Next feature is also an optional but very useful for a building. It's the automatic bell and messaging system. User can play pre-recorded messages and bell sounds at user choice time schedule. Let's take an example of a food factory. Suppose the management wants to relay a pre-recorded message of sanitization instructions to all factory staff every after 30 minutes. So they can upload the message into micro SD card and program the message to play after every 30 minutes. Similarly they can also program shift change bells, tool down intimations, lunch break etc. Attention everyone. Change your hand gloves. Sanitize your hands. Check your face mask, cap, apron and shoes the proper position. And maintain 6 feet distance from each other. This was all about our product. Two-way public address system with talk back and call back facility. Model, FP201. Thank you for watching and sparing time. Our sales team would be happy to hear from you. Have a wonderful time ahead. Good day.